for raptors, birds of prey, rattlesnakes, and their larger carnivores like coyotes and bobcats. We're in the central region of the largest concentration of golden eagles nesting in the world. And the reason for that nesting population is because the landscape is managed to promote the prey base, California ground squirrels. Without livestock grazing, we would rapidly lose our ground squirrel population, and we would also lose the associated amphibian populations and the predator populations that rely on the ground squirrel as the base engineer for this landscape. Livestock grazing removes a lot of the non-native annual grasses and promotes biodiversity of wildflowers, forbs, and other native plants. There's a number of ponds that we manage for livestock grazing as a water source for livestock, but they also serve a tremendous and important water source for amphibians, reptiles, and mammals that come to those ponds. Without the maintenance of a livestock grazing program and the needs to maintain those ponds, some of those ponds would have been lost. And in fact, livestock grazing maintains an open water character of these ponds. We recognize through our research that if you exclude ponds from livestock grazing, the vegetation gets too dense and you lose a lot of these species that rely on that open water. We've been working with UC Berkeley on some grassland studies for the last seven years. And what they've shown is that the diversity of plants and animals are more closely associated with grazed, managed grasslands than they are with unmanaged grasslands. In terms of importance to birds, it turns out that uh, most of the birds under the largest threat in North America are birds that use grasslands. Specifically in the Central Valley, we happen to be perhaps the most important area in the whole continent for wintering raptors. These grasslands are almost without exception private land. These birds are using areas that are not national wildlife refuges or preserves. They are working ranch land, private land. It's a pretty simple equation. If we don't have a viable ranching community, a viable ranching business, then we're going to lose this grassland. If we lose the grassland, we're going to lose one of the continent's most important raptor areas. Defenders of Wildlife cares very much about rangelands and the ranchers who live on those lands because that open space benefits all of us, including California's declining and imperiled wildlife. One thing we've come to realize is that keeping cows out on certain landscapes, such as vernal pool landscapes, is of great benefit. These cows mimic the natural grazing patterns of the large elk herds that used to roam through the Central Valley. We don't have these elk herds any longer, therefore we need the cows to be out there to keep the non-native species down and allow the native plants to thrive, thereby resulting in healthy vernal pool landscapes. Defenders of Wildlife has come to realize that partnerships with ranchers is really important. It's not always easy for an environmental group to partner with a rancher. Sometimes we have mistrust and preconceived ideas. But after talking with these folks, I've come to realize that we share a love of the landscape. We at the Sierra Nevada Conservancy uh, appreciate the value of working landscapes to the region. Um, they're valuable for a variety of ways. They're not only valuable from an economic standpoint, but certainly from an environmental standpoint, uh, a social and cultural standpoint. Um, when we look at this region and we look at the lands that are still productive in private ownership, um, we see how important they are in so many communities up and down the Sierra Nevada. We look at areas where uh, lands have been under stewardship for generations um, that are really some of our most fabulous resource lands and some of the, uh, some of the parts of the community that if they were to disappear, uh, it would be really a, a, a devastating loss to the community. We have uh, established as one of our primary objectives the preservation of working landscapes. As a regional director for the Fish and Wildlife Services, I care deeply about wildlife conservation. What I'm also learning to understand is how important it is to have partnerships with people that own land and working landscapes that have to make a living off that land. What we're learning to do is trust and respect each other and do conservation on the ground for wildlife. Without partnerships, there's no way we can conserve wildlife into the future for future generations. The California Rangeland Conservation Coalition is a prime example of people and partnerships working together. With the increase of urban development and pressures, it's important for us to increase our understanding of the important role these ranches play and the environmental, economic, cultural, and social benefits they provide. Mm -hmm.